Hey, what's up you guys? So today I'm sharing five different ways that you could fix your money spending habits starting with number one. So number one, just please stop beating out. It, it, it adds up so much faster than you would expect. So in my personal opinion, you should probably visit a restaurant once a month and a fast food chain probably once a week. And that's with the assumption that you do have an addiction to fast food. Uh, in that case, I feel like doing those kind of numbers is kind of safe. And uh, just by like, I guess, doing what I was suggesting to you guys, depending on how much you actually go out to eat, I would say that it's roughly, you're probably gonna save anywhere from like 50 to $100 a month, which is about 600 to $1,200 a year, okay? Small savings, like saving that extra 50 to $100 a month is going to add up greatly at the end of the year. And it's very important that you guys try to minimize the amount that you're going out to eat. All right, so number two is unnecessary subscriptions. Now, I've actually already covered this in a video before. If you guys wanna check that video out, it'll be over here in the corner for you guys. I hope that's the right corner. But to summarize exactly what I said in that video was, if you have a bunch of subscriptions open, you need to look at the subscriptions that you have and you need to determine what you are using and what you're actually getting out of, right? If I have Netflix, Hulu, and Peacock, but I only watch Netflix and I watch Hulu for like one show, then why do I have Peacock and why do I have Hulu? You know what I'm saying? You just need one. You're gonna save so much money by doing this. And I actually just heard about um, somebody that I knew who had a gym membership open for literally four months and just completely forgot about it and been like wanting to cancel it and stuff. That's like almost $100 that they could have saved simply just by either making it useful and actually going or just simply canceling it. It's just so crazy to me how how like out of touch the mind is whenever it comes to subscriptions and like pretty much leaving them alone, like pretty much hitting the check mark and then just walking away from it. You know what I'm saying? It just to me I can't I can't even like I can't even understand that whole mindset. I, I don't know. Is it just something I don't get? But uh, if, if you have a bunch of subscriptions, leave them in the comments below and what you plan on getting rid of and what you plan on keeping. So number three is overpaying on clothes. So let me just put it this way. You don't need to spend $300 at the Nike store on four different items, okay? There are so many different cost-effective ways of getting really nice clothing for cheap like really nice high quality brands for a very good price it's possible you don't have to shop at the actual official stores and buy things full price in fact a lot of the clothes that i actually own has been from secondhand stores and i guess to give you guys a example of different places that i would shop at in my area at least is like Plato's Closet, Uptown Cheapskate, some Goodwills, not all Goodwills. Um, you could probably go to like Facebook Marketplace, Macari, eBay. You can get honestly some really great deals on some really great clothing and expensive high quality stuff and not pay the top dollar for it. Oh, another one that I forgot to mention is that if any of these like official stores like American Eagle or Hollister or Hollister store uh H&M I don't know I'm trying to think of some like really crazy cool ones if they're having any clearance sales or any like marked down sales and you believe that these are good deals then maybe check those out if that's what you want to do but I just really want you guys to know you don't have to pay the top dollar to get the drip okay you don't need the drip it's not something you need, okay? You can spend a little bit of money and get really nice clothing. All right, so number four is a weird one, but listen, if any of you guys, yes, I'm talking to you guys out there. If any of you guys are paying for porn, then you guys need to leave this video and you guys need to hit 100 push-ups. You should feel so fucking guilty. I'm just saying, get out of here. Go hit your 100 push-ups and then decide if you want to come back. Then lastly, this is kind of an uncommon one that I have seen, but stop lending your money to people. And I say this only in the sense of like, 
you know that like one friend that like maybe maybe you hear about okay this person is taking out this person all the time okay but every single time they go out they have to pay for this person this person is never paying for themselves because they're just like hey can you pay for me this time it's like yeah i've only paid for you this last like 100 times you know the thing is is like stop paying for that person stop giving them your money and giving them free shit you know what i'm saying yes they may be your friend but sometimes you are used okay don't be used you need to be aware of that if somebody gets upset because you can't pay for something that they want or something with you then they're probably using you and you guys need to at least see that like it's something that a lot of people uh sometimes overlook or maybe they already see but for some odd reason they just let it happen to them because either they're scared of being lonely or they just don't want to lose that friend but the thing is is like you guys need to realize those kind of things and see them and take action whenever you see it and be like okay well, I need to shut this down. And whenever it comes to family, give yourself like a limit as to what you will be lending to your family and stuff. I personally wouldn't do this to your friends because I just feel like it's kind of like a weird thing anyways. Like maybe, maybe. I just, me personally, I've always been the kind of person that if I need money for something, I will find a way to get the money for it. I'm not going to like do any illegal activities. I'm just saying that, I'm going to find the way to get the money that I need to raise for what I want, right? Even if it's mowing a whole bunch of grass or literally just hitting up a brick layer and start laying some brick, you know what I'm saying? Like, I will do whatever I got to do to get the money that I want for the thing that I need. So that was five different ways that you guys can start fixing your spending habits today. And I can guarantee you, you will probably save at least a grand or two every single year like no doubt in my mind you will save so much money that y you didn't even know you could have had it's gonna be literally insane and yeah that's pretty much been it for this video uh i hope i summarized everything for you guys and i'm telling you guys if you guys stick by these habits these are habits that i pretty much i i'm not even joking i literally live by i literally live by but anyways if you guys want to check me out on instagram you guys can look up me at diablo dan underscore you guys can also check me out on twitch i will be streaming on wednesdays doing some skate 3 stuff typically around uh in the the later day so anywhere between like 6 to 10 or so is where you'll find me streaming i'm gonna stream for like a few hours playing some skate 3 and if you guys want to check out some other content that i have done it's going to be right here where my hand is but you can't see my hand uh but you guys can check out videos that you will probably like and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video